We're four episodes in the Spy X fam, and I can confidently say that this anime could end up being the highlight of 2022. The more we delve into the series, the more I am further engrossed in the plot. Just like Twilight digging for information on Desmond, I too am piling up a mountain of questions I'd like answered as the series progresses. We've got a lot to delve into this episode, and I'm so happy you all decided to join me today. If this is your first time here, do consider subscribing to the channel for your fix of Spy X Family content in the future. Now, without further delay, let's dive right into it. Episode 4, entitled The Prestigious School's Interview, had an array of twists and turns as a viewer. This episode also acted as a way for me to further understand the dynamic of Lloyd's family as the series goes onward. Eden Academy is no joke. The school that the Forgers must infiltrate is nothing short of perfection. From the get-go, the family realizes that they're being observed even prior to the interview starting later in the day. From the start, people are already failing just by the way they carry themselves into this top-of-the-line academy. Amidst the teachers, we get an introduction to this housemaster, and oh my god, he just might be my new favorite character of the series. According to my trusted sources, his name is Henry Henderson, but that's boring as hell, so we're going to be referring to him as Housemaster Elegance from here on out. He's, for a lack of better words, Eleganto. a chivalrous man who cares about nothing more than elegance. Seeing that Anya barely passed the entrance exam and how sloppy her handwriting is, I, along with Lloyd and Housemaster Elegance, had heavy doubts in her ability to successfully infiltrate Eden. Oh yeah, and if this pressure wasn't enough for Anya already, if you've forgotten, Anya can also read people's minds. So this situation isn't exactly ideal for her to begin with. Can you imagine walking through this courtyard and hearing the plethora of voices that Anya must be hearing as they walk through? Voices of doubt, of concern, of sheer fear being here at Eden Academy. If the pressure of being at a prestigious school like this isn't enough anxiety for a young girl like Anya, why don't we add some other things that could possibly throw her off? What things might those be? Well, for Eden, it's throwing literal blockades at possible students wanting to attend their academy. I mean, look at my poor boy Augustus here. If this doesn't show you how fucking scary Eden Academy is, well then, bucko, I don't know what to say. They literally told this kid, Hey buddy boy, you want some extra credit? Good, why don't you lodge yourself in this narrow ass drainage area and help sabotage some of the interviewees? Not malicious at all. If you haven't picked up on it already, the whole goal is to not help this poor lad. If you proceed to do so, you'll only dirty yourself in the process. Of course, the forgers ignore this. Seeing as Lloyd has sullied his outfit, it all seems over, right? OBJECTION! YOU'RE WRONG! Lloyd is a master meme lord and has prepared for this exact situation. A change of clothes is in order, one far more elegant than the last. Take that, Housemaster Elegance! It's funny to think that, despite the Forger's many flaws, they make a genuine good impression on Housemaster Elegance with the help of Lloyd's cunning and intellect. Amidst a slew of challenges the teachers have set out, it also appears that a fucking stampede of animals have escaped from... somewhere? Maybe the school has a... has a zoo? I... yeah, this entire part so confuses me. But we have a rampage going through Eden, which is no problem for the foragers. Swiftly, Yor goes into her assassin mode and hits the vital points of these animals, instantly stunning them. It's always interesting to see Yor desperately trying to brush off her abilities to Lloyd and Anya after the fact. It's even more intriguing that Lloyd doesn't pay much attention to it at all. Albeit, he could be suspicious that Yor is also a spy, but for the most part in the series so far, it seems like he just dismisses his wife's brute strength as normal in these types of situations. Of course, for Anya, she's already completely aware of both her parents' double lives. Speaking of Anya, she's able to communicate with animals? To some degree, at least. She helps calm the leader of the animal stampede down, and Peace once again returns to Eden Academy. The fact that this was a random event proves the Forger's worth to the Academy even further. Housekeeper Elegance didn't even know this was about to happen. So in this situation, actual students, faculty, and attendees' lives were at stake. This dude, I will say once again, is such an interesting character. He knows that something is amiss amongst his family, mainly that Anya might not be suited for their school. Despite this thought though, 
he is still moved by their actions and goes out to thank them himself. The tense atmosphere surrounding this whole interview process is also enough for Lloyd, a seasoned spy, to feel some sort of nervousness towards. Of all things, it is a Academy entrance exam. We've seen the Forgers prepare for this interview in previous episodes, and I honestly was rooting for them as they entered the room. Lloyd taking previous precautions to bug the place and listen on the answers is a very good move on his part and for his family. So, three wardrobe changes and a herding stampede of animals later, the Forgers finally enter the interview room. There, we meet two housemasters and one piece of human fucking garbage. But we'll get to the Pillsbury Doughboy in a bit. The one thing I admire about this series is how the connection between Anya, Lloyd, and Yor seems to be growing with each passing episode. I mean, sure, Lloyd is on a mission, but we've already seen him grow closer and more fond to his makeshift family. This isn't some random mission where he dumps some accomplice when the job is done. No, this is something far more. The dedication and time Lloyd spent with Yor and Anya and the patience it must have taken him to get ready for this interview just shows how far they've all come in such a short amount of time. Going back to the interview, Housemaster Elegance. God, I love saying that. Well, he's present along with Walter Evans and Dick Bag McGee. Walter, during this interview, has a genuine heart and seems to be interested in knowing the overall relations of the family in regards to one another. He's very kind-hearted and seems to be getting along with the foragers quite well. Same with Housemaster Elegance. He seems to be highly interested in Anya as the interview progresses, especially with her resolve to follow in the current Housemaster's footsteps. This comment, mind you, was one of many major slip-ups Anya blurted out while attempting to read Lloyd's mind for a suitable answer. The interview seems to be going well before Resident Asshat has to inquire about Lloyd's fictitious second marriage to Yor. And no, I'm not gonna say his actual name. Trash is trash, that is all. This man is the son of the former headmaster and is literally just here because of that title. He is in no way as reserved or as elegant as Sir Elegance and Evan in this situation. As Lloyd stated, he's targeting other happily married couples because his marriage recently ended in a divorce. I know, shocking. Who wouldn't want to spend their lives with this... Thing. My entire mood shifted when he directed a question at Anya regarding how she scored Yor as a parent. Anya of course gives Yor a perfect 100, but just to drive a fucking knife into Anya's poor soul and pour salt into the wound, this absolute fucking asshole then inquires about who is better, Yor or Anya's original mother. Up until this point, We've seen nothing of Anya's past aside from a brief interaction with some scientists. This whole episode, Anya's been put under immense stress. And finally, this question makes her crack. This fucker made Anya cry. I repeat, audience, this low life garbage made Anya cry. <sighs> it's alright. Compose yourself, Hollow. This is just an episode review. This scene does carry immense weight in Anya's past, one which I'm not sure many anime onlys like myself picked up on. Again, we don't know much about Anya's past, and there are various different situations that could have caused Anya to react the way that she did. One of two scenarios come to mind. The first scenario being that her original parents, upon realizing Anya's gift, abandoned her altogether. Although this is sad, the second scenario has much darker undertones. From birth, Anya didn't know her real parents, and the people she associates as being her first parental figures are the same people who conducted experiments on her prior to her stay at the orphanage. As Anya stated in the interview, she loves and adores Yor and Lloyd. Even if this family is fictitious, she finally has a safe home where she can feel nurtured and loved. I'm not gonna lie. When I heard Yor's knuckles crack and her voice shift, I wanted nothing more than this garbage of a human to get what's coming to him. Even Lloyd lost his composure, his inner thoughts telling him to get a grip and calm down. But it's too late. You, sir, did something worse than insulting Lloyd, Yor, or their marriage. You attacked a defenseless child in an area that impacted them the most. Rot in hell, you mother- 
Lloyd does compose himself, and the forgers leave the interview before it's completed with Lloyd serving some heavy words to the interviewers. The basic synopsis being that if this is how the teachers carry themselves and behave, they'll take Anya elsewhere. Once the forgers leave, Housemaster Elegance elegantly takes out the garbage as the day ends at the Eden Academy entry exams. When reflecting on their performance, Lloyd believes that all hope is lost. Despite being provoked, they still hadn't acted accordingly to Eden's standards. Anya's apology to Lloyd broke my heart. Again, this girl wants nothing more than to keep the family she has, even if it means facing adversity at a school like Eden Academy. Anya wants to desperately grip onto that happiness that this family brings her. And honestly, as viewers, who wouldn't want the same? For Lloyd, this is a major turning point for him too. Prior to this, he'd only had to rely on himself for these missions. For this mission though, he has to rely on others too. With newfound hope and lifted spirits, the Forgers take a moment to relax as their faith with Eden Academy is yet to be determined. Oh yeah, and their family picture falls to the ground. Ominous. Sheesh, what an episode! So yeah, that was episode 4, my thoughts, and how I felt with certain scenes. I know it was a lot, but I wanted to properly convey my emotions with all of you watching. By the time this video comes out, it may be a day or two after the episode air, so I do apologize for that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like to let me know and buckle up because I'm far from done talking about this anime. In the comments, go ahead and let me know your favorite moments of this episode too. Thank you all for joining me, this has been Holographic, and I'll see you all in the next video. Gianne.